art class was taken to a whole new level as Riderwood Elementary School students received a special guest artist to help them learn about a different kind of art. BCS News was there. Stephen Parlato, a well-known artist, makes photographic collages where he takes small clippings from magazines or photographs and creates larger images. He passed on this method to students at Riderwood Elementary School so they could create masterpieces of their own. Today, we're um, working with Stephen Parlato and um, the kind of art that he does, and we're making collages. He um, made different kind of shapes or animals, and we, um, we made pictures to fill into the spaces. So, it's, so it looks really cool when it's done. First, what we do to prepare for this is we cut out pieces from magazines, like the different themes, like um, the ones I were doing with animals and um, candy and desserts. And then you have to take the magazine pieces and take pins and stick them into the um, outline. Once the pictures are placed on the outline, Stephen uses a special technique where he replaces the pins with small ones and places it in glass. I developed this method with the pins where I can densely layer things and still have them photograph flat. I'm able to, in a sense, draw or paint with these little fragments of photographs. So I get a, a, what people have described it as being a fluid form of collage. The students enjoyed working and learning from Stephen. They also loved the chance to work together on a project like this. I'd like the kids to learn that uh, working with a group can produce a nice uh, final image and that artists work with all different types of mediums because that's what we study throughout elementary school and uh, just having the experience of working with a um, professional artist I think is something they will always remember. It's just fun to work with other kids and then it's like a really good experience so that's what I really like about it. I just learned like how fun it is and it's a good exercise to do a lot. It's a really special occasion. While some of the finished artwork will remain in the school, one will be given to the Johns Hopkins Children's Center, and the rest auctioned off in the spring. The project itself was a great success, and Stephen loved seeing the kids' work. Nothing delights me more than, than for them to use the finished images as the springboard for other projects. The students will treasure this experience, and they are all so excited to be able to see the finished product very soon. For BCPS News, I'm Carol Ward.